Hi, I'm Mike Marin, and in this video, we'll talk about how to convert a numeric variable into a categorical variable in R. There are many reasons one may wish to do this. For example, maybe you want to make some cross-tabulations for this variable. Or, maybe you're fitting a regression model, and the linearity assumption is not valid, and therefore you'd like to transform it into a categorical variable. There's many reasons one can think of for wanting to convert a numeric variable into a categorical variable or factor. We will be working with the LUNCAP data that was introduced earlier in this series of videos. I've already gone ahead and imported the data into R and attached it. We will convert height, a numeric variable, into a categorical variable. To do so, we'll be using the cut command. You can access the help menu by placing a question mark in front of the command name or by typing the command name in the help search window. Now we're going to create a categorical height variable using categories A of less than 50, B 50 to 55, C 55 to 60, and so on. To do so, we're going to create a new variable called cat height. To create this variable, we are going to cut the height variable and the breakpoints we're going to use are 0, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, and 100. The 0 specifies a lower bound and the 100 specifies an upper bound. So here we're going to be creating categories of less than 50, 50 to 55, 55 to 60, all the way up to 70 or greater. By default, these intervals are left open or right closed, meaning that border observations go to the left. For example, an observation of 60 would go in the 55 to 60 bin. Later, we'll talk about how to change this. Next, we want to specify the labels. These are what the categories are going to be named. The less than 50, we're going to call category A. The 50 to 55, we're going to call category B and so on. Now we can submit this command. Let's take a look at the first 10 observed heights as well as the first 10 categorical heights. Here we can see the height of 62.1 is placed in height category D, the 60 to 65 category. The height of 74.7 .7 is placed into category F the 70 plus category. We have successfully created a categorical representation of height. Now we can change these intervals to be left closed or right open using the right argument within the cut command. We would do this if we would like an observation of say 60 to be placed in the 60 to 65 category. To do this in the cut command we will use the right argument and set this to false. It's worth noting that this right argument refers to whether or not we want right closed intervals. Setting it equal to false will result in a right open interval. It's also worth noting that it's important to use the labels argument. If we do not, by default, R will use the intervals themselves as the label unless we specify what we would like the names of the categories to be. Let's recall the categories we were going to make. Let's also take a look at the first 10 heights, as well as the first 10 categorical heights. Let's take a look at what happens if we do not specify the labels. We'll just remove that labels argument there. And now we can see if we take a look at the first 10 categorical heights, the observation of 62.1, which falls into previously named category D, is now placed in the 60 to 65 category in R. The label being used is 60 to 65. We can see down here the labels or category names that R is using. This is why it's important that we define the labels ourselves rather than having these weird labels chosen by R. It's also worth noting that rather than specifying the breakpoints for the categories themselves, you can tell R the number of categories or levels you would like and R will determine the cut points for the intervals itself. To do so, rather than specifying the breakpoints, we could substitute some integer here. For example, setting breaks equal to 4 
would tell R to create four categories or levels for this categorical height. R will choose the breakpoints itself. In general, it's recommended that you set the interval breakpoints yourself to have more control over what the categories look like. Thanks for watching this video and make sure to check out my other instructional videos.